freaking out. Because, one second, let me believe it. So Cork's and I decided, max only nine months. Hey, don't hit that down. No, no. And we were like, well, we do want our next baby. Let's see where this is going. We do want our next baby to be pretty close in age with McCoy. Now we'll probably take a bigger break and then have two more. That's the goal, if that's how it works. And McCoy, stop. Anyways, so we're like, let's try the end of this year. So it's currently November, almost December, in like two days or tomorrow. And we're like, let's let's try to have a baby in August because none of our family has babies in August. So many have September, October, November, December. So by the time Mac is a year, which I feel like is around when most people start trying for their second at least where we live, um, then we would be trying for a baby in like November and December, which we didn't want in January. And so we're kind of like, we either try to have a baby in August and it works, or we wait like six more months or seven more months, I don't even know, which we really didn't want to do because we literally love being parents. And... So we tried this month and I just took a test. It's literally so early. I know my cycle has been so whack. So I didn't even think it was possible, but I'm not supposed to start my period for like nine days. So I think that my ovulation might have been weird, but it's very positive very positive i literally was going to take it and then i'm like what am i doing like why am i even doing this i just like i'm not even gonna start you know like it's gonna be negative even if i am gonna be pregnant this you know this time around but very positive very quickly so i'm freaking out i'm literally shaking and i gotta figure out how to tell carson and we'll see his reaction he's so excited though so Stay tuned. I just took another test. Because Carson's home. And I can't wait to tell him any longer. Dude. This is going to be crazy. I'm shaking already. Alright y'all. I literally was pulling the camera out of my pocket to start recording. And someone called Carson. So now he's outside on the phone. And... I'm just getting more stressed. Literally, this is how it was when I tried to tell him the first time. I tried to tell him like five different times, but I was so scared that I like literally didn't even say anything. I just went with the tests, and I'll probably end up doing that same thing. I like seriously. Oh. It's so exciting though. And he's about to walk inside, so I'm just gonna pretend like I'm making a video. And I'm gonna flip the camera. Hopefully, he's coming inside. I just was watching him on the camera. He hung up the phone, but now he's probably replying to other people. I always think I'm gonna cry with this like I thought I'd cry with Mac when I found out but I think I just go into such shock that I don't I don't know what to do <laughs> Cause it's so fun to talk about but then it actually happens and then it's like crap so that's the plan Let's make a video. Oh. There's a small explanation on what the freak is going on. It's Carson in the flesh. All right, honey. What do you think? <laughs> what? 
What do I think about that? About what? Huh? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Again! <laughs> oh, such a better feeling this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> We're good at this. <laughs> We're good at this. One done. <laughs> oh, I told you. I gotta go. I love you. I love you. So excited. <laughs> Yay, buddy! Yay. You crapped it? One. Yay. Oh! Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you excited? Oh, no. You just got so excited. <laughs> you know it, huh? You know it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, little buddy. All right, y'all. So, a little baby update. Yeah. So, we went to one of those early ultrasound places, and they said that they could do it at seven weeks, right? And we went there with Mac, not early, but we went and did like a 3D ultrasound a few times to see him, which was great, and we love that place. So, we went there. Right before Christmas, just because I was like, maybe we do want to tell someone. I don't know. Just in case. It was my mom's birthday. It was Christmas. We were excited. And I was like, yeah, like we, want, we might want to say it, but I don't want to tell anyone until we know there is, in fact, a baby in there. So we go to this place. I was pretty sure I was around seven and a half weeks. But... um the lady like couldn't find anything and she was new she wasn't the original lady that we usually go to like the owner and she'd only been there for a couple months so couldn't find anything we're like okay like i'm not for sure on my date so like no worries we came back a week later again she couldn't see anything we're like okay kind of getting nervous and Carson was just like, this is why we don't come early, blah, blah, blah. Cause, so let me say this. Also, our doctor's appointment, we weren't able to get into my doctor until I was going to be like 10 weeks. And it was like two weeks after Christmas. And so um, that was another thing. So I was like, 10 weeks is a long time to wait to see if there's a baby and how the baby's doing. Anyway, so that was another reason I wanted to go. And McCoy... And so then we went, she's like, I'm gonna have you come back and do it with so-and-so, like the main lady, um, and see if she can say anything, see anything, cause I don't wanna say anything that's not true. So now here I am, like, obviously major anxiety, thinking like I had, you know, some type of miscarriage or uh, just something was wrong and their baby, you know, wasn't there, or whatever. And so you go through a million things in your mind, even when your baby is healthy, that's just what being pregnant is. And so I almost canceled the appointment. I was just like, I'm just gonna wait until my doctor, because if something is wrong, I'd rather just hear from her and figure it out professionally. And But I just had a feeling, just go, because if something is wrong, you should probably know sooner than later. So we went in again, and literally within, I don't know, 10 seconds, probably not even that long. She found the baby and it was good. Heart was beating fast, like all was well. And we were worried, I was worried for no reason. But when the other lady was acting so sketchy about it, we were obviously, I had reason to worry. So my uterus is tilted though. And that's why it's like, I guess hard to see that early, which we told the first girl, but she didn't. I mean, she was too new to realize that, like, meant something. So, here we are. Baby is okay. And all is well. So, we went to the doctor uh, two days ago, I think. Oh, so I had to tell my mom. And I wasn't very happy about that because I wanted to tell her with everyone else. But I had to tell her so she could watch children and just help and if something was wrong I'd want her to know anyways so sadly I don't have a good video of her reacting but 
she's so great and was so awesome to help me and just so supportive so she's the only one that knows as of right now and no one else is gonna know until mccoy's birthday which is in mccoy's pooping right now obviously which is in like six more weeks i think so it's a long time i'm dying but anyways so go back we went to the doctor everything was great um i am currently it's january 12th and i'm 10 and a half weeks which is so exciting so another week and a half and we can go do the blood test at the doctor um to do all like the genetic testing and the gender testing and we are pumped so that's the update for now. Baby's healthy and good. There is a baby in there. And we're just going to keep being grateful. We literally cannot express our gratitude enough. Especially as we know so many people out there struggling. And just know that we pray for you. If that is you. Every single day. Literally every single day. Anyways, we hope that... You guys, we did it. We told everybody that we're having a baby. Well, all my family. And it was just a success. We told everyone at McCoy's party, which you'll see here in a second. And we just had him hold up a big brother shirt from a gift. I was literally like trying to get through his presents so fast and he was just trying to do like anything else, you know? Cause I saved it for last and Oh my gosh, my heart was just racing the whole time. I was like, please. And even just like when I grabbed it to like go take it out, I literally started tearing up. So I was like trying to like, like I literally yawned. I was like trying to do anything I could to just not cry. But um, yeah, it was really fun. Everyone in my family was asking me like right when they got there, like, oh, when's the next baby? When's the next baby? You know, and just like everyone was there asking and it was so hard to lie i'm like oh you know he's a year now so probably soon and my sister-in-law's like yeah any day right you're gonna start trying i was just like oh my gosh everyone shut up it's not basketball because it's so hard for me to lie like so hard i just don't even know what to say so i thought i played it off well i think i played it off pretty cool but yeah so then we did the reveal and everyone was so excited and shocked. Carson's family especially was shocked. Mine was like shocked especially at how far I was because I'm currently 16 weeks. So McCoy's party was on Saturday and I turned 16 weeks on Sunday. And so it's awesome because this pregnancy is already flown by and I know it's going to go by even faster. And it's a long night for us. So yeah, we're just super excited. Literally cannot wait for this next baby to be here we know the gender so we'll post that video next which was so fun to find out and yeah we're excited also i'm so sad that i did not get like a good reaction video because i love watching those and just would have been great to get because i was very shocked because so my cycle has been before having Mac, before getting pregnant with him, it was like a normal 28 day cycle always. And then um, once I got it back after having him, it's like went to like 21 or 22 days. And so like when we were like started thinking about having a baby, I never took ovulation tests or anything with Mac. I just like wasn't that educated honestly. And just like, I tracked it on my phone tracked my cycle every month and so like we just kind of went off what when that said I was ovulating and which is like a lot more accurate when you have a normal period but with it being a shorter cycle everything that I've read said that it could be harder um just because like they don't come as like regularly when it's that short or just take longer because like the ovulation can get so off when it's that short. I don't know. The whole thing. So, I was like, okay, well, since I don't really know when I'm ovulating, maybe I should, like, start taking an ovulation test. And so then, I didn't sleep very good, can you tell? So then I started taking 
a test, well, I took a test, like, a few days after, because we were on a trip, um, we were in California, and so I took a test, like, a day after I, like, would have been ovulating on a 22-day cycle, and it, like, almost looks positive, but it was, like, I don't know, like, it was either, like, I missed the ovulation day or like it just wasn't actually positive but it was like pretty close so I was like okay maybe it's like coming up and so then I took another one like the next day and it like was not positive at all and so I was just like okay whatever like I don't know maybe I'm not ovulating or maybe I'm just gonna ovulate like on a normal cycle so then uh I don't even know so then, um, so that was like, I don't even remember the dates. I think like the 17th-ish, around then, that I like would have been ovulating on that, like on the shorter cycle, which again is like hit or miss anyways. And um, so then I took an ovulation test later, which would have been the day of like a normal 28 day cycle ovulation. And it was positive so I was like cars like ovulating it's just positive like that's kind of weird that it's like positive now not earlier because my I don't know but my cycles has been whack so like who knows anyway so I was like so excited I'm like sweet I'm actually ovulating like that's good news and then um like three days later I just woke up and had having to take a test and I didn't record myself because I was just 100% thought it was gonna be negative because I'm like why am I even doing this like my ovulation test was positive three days ago so if like I am pregnant you know or gonna be pregnant then like it's not gonna show it yet obviously after three days but I took one anyways just because that's what you do and it was positive i literally just sat there and was shocked i was like uh my ovulation test just said so my guess is i was actually pregnant when i took my ovulation test obviously and so uh i tested positive for that because it was like the hcg levels were already rising and made it test positive so i was pregnant not ovulating which is just so crazy but I am so sad that I didn't record my reaction to finding out I was pregnant because I was very shocked and yeah but it was so fun it was so exciting uh it was fun to like not be expecting it whatsoever and to fully be expecting a negative test so I'm glad I took one and yeah I ended up being like a week further than I actually thought and so that's exciting it's really just like yeah we're just so excited and so grateful also let me just say I'm so freaking happy that everybody knows because this week my belly started growing so much like I have full on belly and I was trying to hide it and it was just getting so hard because I realized I don't have that many just like baggy sweaters and stuff because it was still pretty cold and yeah i just have a lot of crap stuff so i'm like okay i can't hide this for literally any longer than this weekend so i'm finally in my comfy maternity stuff and i cannot be happier about it but thank you guys for watching and here is our family's reaction <laughs> for the bumper car
That's how it starts right there. The That's where it starts. I'm just so happy about you.